Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on exact value problem. Basically, this type of problem give you a clue and then ask you for a whole bunch of relatives. Okay, so solving a mystery here. We're given secant theta is equal to 5. Now this problem is a little bit ambiguous because secant is 1 over cosine theta. Cosine theta are positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So to make this problem easier, I'm just going to assume we're in, we are in quadrant 1. Okay, makes the problem a lot easier. If it's quadrant 4, there's a lot of minus signs, but it's not hard. The process stays the same. All right, so secant theta equal to 5. From there, using definition, is 1 over cosine, which is equal to secant theta. Uh, a side note, if you're having trouble remember this, C and S, S is always the opposite. So if the secant theta starts with S, then it's 1 over cosine theta so starts with a C. Okay, similarly, cosecant starts with a C, then the 1 over starts with a sine. Okay, anyway, so since we're given this one equal to 5, then 1 over cosine theta equal to 5, which is saying cosine theta is equal to 1 over 5. Now, here's where the fun begins. Since we assumed it's in quadrant 1, 1 over 5, now you do have to be pretty familiar with definition of sine, cosine, tangent, and so on and so forth. So for cosine, it's adjacent, which is over here, over hypotenuse. So this is a, if you imagine yourself sitting here in this angle here, it's whatever you're sitting on over the roof, over your head. Okay, so this is cosine theta, it was 1 over 5. Using the Pythagorean theorem, 25 minus 1 gives you the opposite leg, which is 24. If we simplify a little bit, it's 4 times 6, or 2 radical 6. Okay. Now, this is all we need to find the rest of the relatives. For example, sine theta is opposite, which is 2 radical 6, over the roof. Okay. So here's one of the relatives we're looking for called tangent is whatever adjacent, i.e. whatever you're sitting on over whatever you're looking at. Mathematics or mathematicians rather requires you to make this one look a little prettier by rationalize. So we're going to multiply radical 24 up and down and simplify here to radical 6, 24 so we have radical 6 over 12 is called tangent. Hope you can see the 6, it's a little on the small side. All right, called tangent is done. Called tangent 90 minus theta flips into the cousin of tangent theta. This one is one of the trigger identity, but it's not that hard. Think about it, cotangent and tangent are kind of cousins, and sine and cosine are cousins. So this one, you can use definition, which is opposite whatever you're staring at, which is 2 radical 6, over whatever you're sitting on, or tangent. I'm trying to get a visual for you so you can remember it with relatively ease. So tangent theta is equal to 2 radical 6, and I believe that's the last relative we need to find. All right, it's, it's not too hard. I think the biggest problem or core of the problem is to be able to draw this picture out. All right, that's how we handle exact value problem for triggers. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful to you, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.